many of us may have even suffered a concussion yeah. at one point or another. Just because they're common, though, doesn't mean they're not serious. Joining us now to talk about concussions, Dr. Michael Lawrence, thanks so much for being here. No problem. Thank and you I was, for having me. Yeah, I was asking during the break, is it that kids or people are getting more concussions, or are they just being diagnosed more often? I think that what we know now is that it's much more serious than we once thought it was, and because of that, we're better trained to diagnose them. So I think that it's a little bit of both. I think a little bit is us being more aware of it, but kids are just bigger now than they used to be. And we've heard stories uh, when I was in the sports department here of local football players. You find out after the season the kid may have had two concussions, three yeah. concussions during a season. You can't do that because, as you said, we're learning more. Somewhere down the road, it really does have an effect on the person's normal life, doesn't it? Both immediately and long-term consequences. Uh, immediately what we see is that after concussion it's common to have symptoms like headache, dizziness, nausea. It's also common to be more at risk for sustaining subsequent concussions if you have one, especially if you're not fully recovered. There's something out there called second impact syndrome and it's this idea that in the developing brain, mainly adolescents are most at risk. But if you have a second concussion in close proximity to the first, it can lead to serious consequences, even death. So what do you say to these parents then whose, whose sons are playing football or, or other student athletes after they get one concussion, maybe two? Do you encourage them to stop playing sports? You know, it's a tough call. It, it really is. Uh, and research seems to suggest the third time is a charm. After you have three, you're more likely to sustain multiple concussions, you don't have to get hit as hard to have another concussion, and we do think there's long-term consequences, Alzheimer's disease, depression later on in life. We've seen that uh, Sidney Crosby's been out, I think, since New Year's uh, from a hit that didn't even look bad, so it's not necessarily that big jarring collision. Mm -hmm. It's something that can be very minimal. Are a lot of these uh, misdiagnosed or, or missed completely because the guy just seems shaken up just a little bit? Without a doubt. You know, I think that high school and junior high are most at risk because they're the venue where you don't have proper medical care. College, professionals, you have so many people on the sideline to watch these players, but in high school, you're talking maybe one or two athletic trainers. Also, we know that concussion can impair memory, problem-solving judgment. So even a kid that wants to be honest may not be aware that he's symptomatic. Mm. So bottom line, get checked out, get your child checked out, and good equipment. Without a doubt. Yeah. Bottom line is just be aware. I think the more we educate parents, coaches, trainers, the better off we are. And you're right, good equipment. You know, there was a, a player a few years ago that developed second impact syndrome, and he was wearing a helmet mm -hmm. that was 30 years old. Oh, my wow. gosh. Doctor, right. thanks good for coming in. Thanks Thank you. So much. Stuff. We can talk about this for a long, yeah, long time. Yeah. Much more to come here.